and then start integrating this stuff into Yoshi. I have all these Pandora gems on Ken. I'm not using any of them. I'll figure that out. Alright, Yoshi. Alright, Yoshi. Alright, Ken A. Let's go. Ken Mitsu. Ken Yoshkin. Yoshi Masters. That works. I'll take that. I need to learn block strings with Yoshi as well. All or nothing. Oh man, I'm dumb. Safe from a distance, it looks like. Wow! Buttload of damage off of it. Oh my god, man. Alright. So he's getting these these wake up uh these these like wake up uppercuts with Yoshi a lot and it doesn't seem to be working for me. Ouch. Just threw me out of a reversal. was a bait. Put Ken out there as bait to see if he would hit him, and he did. Alrighty then. Trying to figure things out a little bit, I guess. tried to tag out. I had a funny feeling. So there we go. I think we're tied at 2-2. Two two. Um, getting interesting. Getting interesting. Yoshe. I gotta, I gotta use that stuff more where it's like, what, I, what I'm forgetting is I'm missing, I'm missing of the input still. Uh, Yoshi's got this great neutral setup where after you land, you know, your big uh, uppercut combo, once they hit the ground, you can do like a poison spit, like the heavy poison spit, which I think is safe on block. And if they choose to do a move, they'll land into the poison spit, and if they roll, you're kind of safe at the same time. It's a real good, like, neutral game setup that both those characters have, uh, or that Yoshi has. So I'm going to have to see if I can possibly try it out in the next round. I'll let, you guys, I'll let you guys see if it happens. Like, if it works, I'll let you know. Because poison spit is a uh, half circle back, I think, with kick. And I just need to remember to do it. Just gotta remember to do the moves in the video games. I need an 80s rock theme really bad. Miles923 needs an 80s rock theme for this channel. And playing fighting games, it'd be so much better. So I can just cue the rock theme when something great happens. Let the Mets Let the Mets
That was bad for business. That light attack from Akuma is just crazy, dude. And it goes through fireballs too. Wonderful. Close ass game. I'm, not, I'm looking at the wrong life bar. I'm like, what's going on? So I need to. I didn't get a chance to set up my Yoshi thing. I, I really should have, and I just forgot about it. Nice. I'm just sitting there like a fool. Wow, I don't beat mine hard. Oh, it knocks out backdashes too? This character's too good, guys. Holy shit. My god, this is ridiculous. Alright. Do have some means of getting out still. What the shit? Wow, and I did I actually did my back teleport and it didn't come out. So good game, dude. Uh, learn some stuff with Yoshi Mitsu. Let's get into the next rounds. Rock and roll. Hey, he's doing too much stuff. Doing too much stuff. I'm like looking at his meter too, and he didn't have any bars. Good games, man. Good games. That was uh, it's interesting going, on, especially using like a character like Yoshi, where I kind of have these battle strategies around, you know, other uh, characters that I know how to fight against. The majority of the vanilla cast and stuff like that, or I guess not even a lot of the vanilla cast because Kuma and Yoshi weren't widely used at all. Good games, dude. Uh, let's see if we can get into another match quickly. Yeah, it's uh, it's challenging. It's I like Yoshimitsu though. I like his damage output. What sucks is that I have not been able to do my Pandora setups yet. The most, the biggest, most challenging thing I find with Pandora and setting it up is recognizing the opportunities you have to use it. And that's that means looking at the meter you have and the amount of health your characters have, while also paying attention to the amount of damage it's going to do to your opposition if it actually is going to kill, and if it is even necessary. That's like four things to consider in like an opportune moment, and most, most of the time, if you're put into that situation more and more, you're going to recognize, okay, this is what I have to do here, I got to do it right at this point, got to set this stuff up, blam, blammo, I win. Pandora. And sometimes it's, when you're early on with it, dude, it's just like, what the... I know I have it, but it's like the worst time to do it because the guy still has like 700 health and it's going to remove maybe five or 600. It, either way, I would love to get it, love to get it landed at some point, but we'll find out. I'm liking Yoshi though. Figuring things out slowly. What sucks are his pokes. He's got really crappy normals at a close range. From his like mid range, he's not bad. He's pretty good. Let's do this. My guy was wearing jeans. 
knew that was gonna happen, right? Messed up. Oh, I was taking grab. And I got crouching short. Works for me. Damn it! Oh my god, one back dash with the ocean and I'm bunked. Oh my god, I actually did a low forward too. Okay. going on. He's, uh, I guess he's trying to do something about the jump-ins, and it just was just hitting him in the head. Okay, then. Okay, then. I had a chance to do a Pandora combo. Once again, you have to, like, keep it in your brain. Like, you have to, like, keep it right on the cusp of every thought that, that you got a, you got a chance to do Pandora now. Yo, we got a chance to do Pandora now. It's kind of like when, when Ultimate Marvel 3 first came out, uh, or actually when Marvel vs. Capcom 3 first came out, a lot of the matches did not have X-Factor. A lot of people were not even using X-Factor a lot of the time to damage and punish characters. Because they were not aware of the moments and the opportunities that they had to, to damage your opposition and take out a character or things like that. I think it's the same thing. Once you're exposed to these situations, you'll just kind of accustom yourself to finally getting Pandora actually useful. Because it wasn't that useful before. It was actually extremely situational in the previous game. Like, way more than it is in this one. Um, but now that characters move a lot closer in, yeah, dude, it's way better. Way better! Way better! Alright, Ken. Let's rock in and roll. What do I want to do with Yoshi in this one? I want to get Yoshi's... Uh, Yoshi's... Setups with the with the the poison spit. That's what I want to do. That's my goal. Neon. I thought it said neon red. Oh my god! What is with your connection, dog? Holy shit, dude! Dog, dog, bro, dog, bro. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, dude! Oh my god! How can you have bad internet? How? How? Somebody needs to stop torrenting. Right now. I can't do a hurricane kick. This is fantastic! This is the way video games are supposed to be! Right? Right? I think we just lost him. Nope! Nope, the game does not want to remove us from this guy. To further conclude that this is not me, there is nobody else in my household right now. And I have a dedicated internet connection just for my Xbox. Dude. Dude! 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 Dude, please. Spare us, man. Dude, Spooby, please. My god! It won't let us go. It just keeps. It just. It just doesn't want to leave, man. Come on. I want to learn Yoshimitsu. That's it. We're learning Yoshi in a lagged environment. We're gonna become so amazing with this character that there's gonna be no way we can ever lose. 
There, wait, wait, well, hold on, I gotta get him into the fight. I gotta get him in. What the hell? That wasn't what I did. Oh my god. Dude, please, just fix your internet. Please. Alright. Uh, I think I'm done with this. So, Neon Nub. Sorry, dude. It's way too bad.